Mr. Lansky, is there such a thing as organized crime? I have no knowledge on the subject. Mr. Lansky, it's a pleasure. Why does David Stone want to write a book about me? Maybe I like stories about complicated people. Anything I choose to tell you is off the record until I give you permission to put it in the book. Any conversations you have about me, I want to know. Betray me, and there will be consequences. I don't have the power to change my past. I do have the power to change the perception of it. I built my business from the ground up. We don't choose sides. We choose opportunities. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with Eton Rockaway and Harvey Keitel, and we are talking their movie, Lansky. So how was it putting this movie together? Because the most fascinating thing that I found out is that these are based on interviews from your father talking with Meyer Lansky. Yeah, so my father wrote a book about gangsters and he interviewed actually Mia Lansky before he passed uh, away. So uh, the, the character of David Stone is loosely based on their uh, interviews, but it is definitely based on his research and his, uh, you know, discussions and transcripts with uh, Mayor Lansky before he passed away. I could identify with Eitan uh, and how he grew up with his father, educating him in this way. Because the story of immigration is most of our stories. All of us here in America, in America, I am a child of immigrants. Their journey to make a living for us was an arduous one, dangerous one. And um, I was happy to tell the story so people could see a side of Maya that he wanted people to see, that he was loyal to his family, how he loved his son. Um, it's an American story. It's not a mobster story. I almost thought that this was destiny for you because I looked at your credits. And I mean, you were in Bugsy Siegel. You've played Bugsy Siegel. So you're familiar with this guy. Who isn't familiar with the gangster genre? You know, for me, it's a genre that Eitan wrote a story about a man who is uh, uh, taking a look at his life and its worth and what he did in that life. So. Um, and that way, it was a pleasure to enter the story of Meyer Lansky. He was a smart, smart man, came to America. My parents came from Europe also. So I'm the child of immigrants like he was into, into uh, po poverty and um, had to make his way in the world. And this story about how in no, no education, and, um, and the genius that he was, and the mind he had, and Lucky Luciano, whom he met as a young man on a street corner in Little Italy, because uh, uh, um, Maya wouldn't run. You know, he stood there and fought for himself, and Lucky Luciano respected him. And these two smart guys were notorious ga gangsters. They, they ran crime in, the, in America, gambling, narcotics, but Maya was also a family man. How Maya led his life as a family man and as the gangster he was, as a man who organized crime in America, as a man who created jobs for millions of people. And um, I would like to have met him. I'm, I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about in terms of... Uh, in terms of aspirations and regrets. Speaking of Harvey Keitel, how was it having him be Lansky? Look, it, it, it was amazing. Again, when, when I was watching on set, I was like, wow, if Mayor Lansky was alive, I mean, probably this is the closest we've ever been to actually seeing. They, they, they look alike. They have, a, you know, a lot of the same background, two tough guys from New York City, you know? So, I mean, it was very uh, 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 familiar. I mean, it was, it, was, it was amazing to see how he embodied the character. I mean, I couldn't think of anyone else to do that role. The movie is Lansky. You can find it playing in theaters and video on demand now. I'm an angel with a dirty face. Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? 
I have to tell myself any damn when I go to sleep at night. It's the way we live. It's business.